हेलो व्यूअर्स आई टीच द कोर्स लीग एंड फील्ड थ्यूरी टू केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट्स हेयर इन दिस सब्जेक्ट द नॉलेज ऑफ सिमिट्री एलिमेंट्स एंड सिमिट्री ऑपरेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो आई प्लान टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ग्रुप मल्टीप्लीकेशन टेबल हेयर ग्रुप स्टैंड फॉर अ पॉइंट ग्रुप एवरी मॉलिक्यूल कैन बी क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सिमिट्री एलिमेंट्स इन टू सिमिट्री पॉइंट ग्रुप्स दस वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल हैज पॉइंट ग्रुप सी टू वी फॉर एनी बेंट ट्राई अटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल लाइक वॉटर द सिमिट्री पॉइंट ग्रुप विल बी सी टू वी एवरी मॉलिक्यूल पोजेसिज द सिमिट्री एलिमेंट ई कॉल्ड आइडेंटिटी दस वॉटर हैज दिस ई एज द फर्स्ट सिमिट्री एलिमेंट other symmetry operations is c2 rotational axis at z axis two vertical planes sigma xz and sigma yz are there it can be noticed that sigma xz is the molecular plane and sigma yz is the vertical plane thus there are four symmetry elements in a c2v point group Here I will explain symmetry operation C two means that rotating at one eighty degree at z axis. This changes the position of H A and H B. Sigma V X Z does not bring change in any position of hydrogen atom A and B, whereas sigma V Y Z that reflects H A and H B and changes their positions. so it is the effect of the operations the identity operation does not bring any change c2 axis pro proper rotational axis that changes the positions of a and b sigma v x z that does not change any position sigma v y z that reflects h a reflects at the place of h b and h b reflects at the place of h a group multiplication table is a representation of all binary combinations of symmetry operations of a point group it is a row column tabular form at the top left corner the symbol for the point group of the molecule is written every position of this blank table has to be filled by the result of the binary combinations of symmetry operations please remember that the coordinates of symmetry planes do not shift during any symmetry operation the operation carried out first is read from the left column of the table and the second operation should be read from the upper horizontal row and you can do it the in different manner also you can read the element from the horizontal row and take one by one from the left column so here i am taking first the element from the left column of the table and second operation is read from the upper horizontal row to construct the whole group multiplication table we have to find the product of all the binary combinations of the group so let us see this is first e that is identity element is taken from the left column and initial molecule has the h a on the left side and h b on the right side e is taken in the four uh, operations binary operations every time if identity is operated all will remain at the same position now when identity element is again operated by the identity operation the result is identity operation only on the molecule where already identity element is operated and it is followed by a c2 operation that does mean it has to be rotated at 180 degree it will result into a c2 here what we have to see we have to see the result of the binary operation in respect to the initial molecule that how is molecule operated if the two operations are brought about together in the third if identity element was operated followed by sigma v x z so sigma v x z does not bring any change in the position now here one more rule has to be kept in mind that while performing such binary operations none of the symmetry element is repeated in any row or column 
so now here as e is already there so although it is seeming that it is same as the initial molecule but e has already been there so it will be now sigma v x z and the last is when e is operated followed by sigma v y z so the final result will be sigma v y z from this particular picture we can have another view point that when any operation is followed by identity operation it does not bring change in the position of the molecules it remains as the initial one only now it is the second element from the left column that is c2 that is operated by all the elements from the horizontal row so that is e then c2 then sigma v x z then sigma v y z so these are the respective uh, results of the binary operations c2 operated followed by e it will be c2 only because e does not bring any change c2 operated followed by c2 once 180 degree rotation then one more 180 degree rotation these have uh, reached to their initial position so it will be as the uh, initial molecule e identity operation it seems as if nothing has been done c2 followed by sigma v x z sigma v x z also uh, doesn't it don't uh, changes the molecule in any manner so it seems as if nothing has been done so sigma v y z and last when c2 is operated by sigma v y z c2 operated a took the position of b b took the position of a followed by a reflection these uh, brought back to their initial positions now the same rule as e is already there so it will be sigma v x z now it is the third element from the left column that is sigma v x z operated on the initial molecule then e operated c2 is operated sigma v x z is operated sigma v y z is operated you can uh, clearly see the results in the first result if sigma v x z is operated there is no change because it is a molecular plane followed by identity operation again no change so it is the result sigma v x z sigma v x z followed by c2 180 degree rotation 180 degree rotation will change their positions but here it seems as if c2 has been operated so uh, it may be sigma v y z it may be c2 but then you will have to see that while you are following and you are writing these uh, results of the binary operations at their junctions none of the symmetry element has to be repeated in the same manner sigma v x z followed by sigma v x z in reflection operations when we reflect first time and if we reflect again if it is even number operations it also results into the identity operation itself so e and last sigma v x z followed by sigma v y z sigma v x z no change in the molecule y z brings a change but because in this particular binary operation results uh, sigma v y z is already there so it will seem to be a c2 and this is the last uh, symmetry element from the left column that is sigma v y z sigma v y z when operated upon the initial molecule it changes the positions of hydrogen atom a and b and again followed by each of the symmetry element from the horizontal row that is e c2 sigma v x z and sigma v y z so after their operations and one thing more when three of uh, uh, rows and columns are already filled with their uh, junction positions so last can be filled because none of the symmetry element is to be repeated in any row or column so in that manner also we are left with the symmetry element sigma v y z sigma v x z c2 and e so at last this is a complete construction of the group multiplication table for a c2v point group what did we do we took every time one element from the left column and operated it by the every element of the horizontal row and the binary operation results are filled at their junction positions you can rightly see none of the symmetry element is repeated in any row or column so this particular table is called as the group multiplication table this is for c2v uh, the water molecule thank you